Hey, Ira. I suck at that triple jump. Oh. They just want to negotiate, you say. Look, it's getting hot in here, and I'm getting hungry mm -hmm. too. Okay, you can tell them I'll reverse my decisions on the vacations. I'll wait for you here. Mm -hmm. Nope, not enough. Plus 20% increase in wages and full compensation for medical expenses. As well as another week of vacation and 5% on capital gains. Dude, keep making me run up here. Didn't I tell you I suck at these triple jumps? Gotta pee. Okay, okay. Mm. Whatever they want. Tell them they'll get whatever they want. But they have to stop calling me Mr. Bunny Moneybags. Got mm. it? Okay, go now. I have to find the key to this door. Mm. Let's follow him home. No, don't. Mm. <laughs> That's this hog. Okay, calm it down, guys. Mm -hmm. He agreed to everything you said? Wonderful. You're one hell of a neg negotiator, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. I like you already. Look, my work here is done, thanks to you. I probably could embark with you on this fancy boat of yours. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to rest my old bones in a cozy home and have you by my side, Munchkin. See you there. Sweet. What are you waiting for? Mm -hmm. Took you long enough. Mm -hmm. Oof. That felt funny. You think I would have seen everything at my age? Mm -hmm. Not sure I liked it though, but it sure beats being an impersonable hooded blob. Those capes are really scratchy. Mm -hmm. Ah. Feels good to breathe the fresh air. Mm -hmm. Time for me to stretch my legs for a bit. Mm, I'm hungry as well. You know what? Mm -hmm. Would you be a deer and fix me a little meal? That'd be marvelous. Thank you, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can leave now. All right. You take. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a bit overcooked, isn't it? And kind of bland. Mm -hmm. Ah, never mind. That will do. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Munchkin. Mm -hmm. You're a sweetheart. I've been out of the loop on that island. You tend to lose track when you fight for the workers' rights. Mm -hmm. We should catch up on the latest gossip, don't you think? 
Oh, but don't get me wrong. I don't really like gossip. But we need to stay informed. Mm -hmm. In case important things happen. And I know just the right person. An old friend of mine has been roaming the seas. Mm -hmm. He could probably tell us what's been going on. Are you a game for a little adventure? Well, it's not like you have a choice. Mm -hmm. She should be around. She gained a bit of weight recently, but don't tell her that. She's always making a scene when someone mentions her appearance. Mm -hmm. Let's go meet her. Hurry up now. Let's see if that big guy uh, will talk to us. Let's go see if the coon will sell us stuff. Sprout! Why don't you fish anymore? It's really calming. You just cast the line and wait. So relaxing. Then it's the fight for your life. Uh, you give it all your heart. What's not to love about it? Dude, I just was fishing the other day. I got a brand new shipment recently. Things are looking up for old Theodore. Go ahead, take a look. Bye. Okay, good, he does have seeds. Thanks, Theo. Oh wait, shoot, I do need veggie seeds from you. Easily, I forget. Turnip sounds good, but we'll do turnips. <laughs> oh, well, I'm a bit of a dork. Summers. 
Oh, we need leeks for his fur. Oh. oh, we can't go past. All right, noted. Let's try to catch some lightning. Remember your Everlight will protect you. What do you say? I'm actually gonna say no. No, the boundary takes up so much room. Okay, uh, edit. Awesome. Okay. There's got to be room, right? Right? Yeah. Nice to get fruits from you, buddy. Come that way. I'll be there in a minute. Gotta get the goodies. Sweet. 
Sweet. All right. What's up? I'm happy you found me, Munchkin, and I'm happy we've been able to help these poor souls in the factory. The workers deserve better, and the ruling class will never change. Hmm. A bunch of swines they are. Mm -hmm. They are the same as us, you know. They just pretend to be superior only because their wallets are full and their houses are big. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know not all rich people deserve to die, but I've never accepted how the workers were treated. Exploited, mm -hmm. diminished, just because of their birth. It's unfair and unjust, mm -hmm. and I will fight for them until my last dying breath. Come here. Give me a hug. Mm -hmm. Aww. Mm -hmm. A hug brightens my day. Get better. Uh, let's see, where do we want to go now? Uh, let's go to the shipyard real quick. There you go. I'm thinking pork chops are the way to my heart. I know you want pork chops, big guy. No, I'm well aware. too far into it. Got our copper. Let's go see Albert and see what upgrades we have waiting for us. That's a nice garden. Knock, knock. Who's there? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Let us in and you'll find out. says it's your lucky day how lucky you must be i got a new errand just for you fresh off the presses have a look-see uh, let's sell wheat okay we'll get that bigger boat come on Dad. things I know that we're going to want is an animal pen. So, oak and 
heavier. Red. Uh, sheep crow. Okay. So that's oak planks. Alright, alright. We'll go make some oak planks. Close to getting perfect. Oh, Jeff, I know I'm terrible at this game. Alright. Let's see if that is enough. I have no idea if I'm going to keep it this way, but for now they're all good. Let's go take Fiesta. behind the uh okay. I go there yet until we unlock that. Oh, 
Oh wait, actually, I just remembered. Um, leave here. Dear, you know what would be nice? Something to eat. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you, Munchkin. I'm glad I could help out mm, help out in some small way. doesn't want to be caught at all. Come on, big guy. Oh, all right, fine. Issue one. that doesn't want to be caught. I have to admit, in, uh, in so many games like this, I, I really dislike having mini fishing games. Like, I don't have much patience for them. Hey, we got a shrimp. While you were gone, I upgraded the boat so it's a little bit bigger. Um, I moved some buildings around. How oh, about a meal, Stella? I'm starving. Oh, you bet. Have some dumplings. <sighs> no problem. Where's Uncle? I haven't seen him in a bit. Uncle! There you are. Are you hungry? He is hungry. Keep them coming. I can't get enough of it. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Alright, let's go see if we can convince a sheep to come on board. I remember there was something you had to do to get it to follow you, but I don't remember what. I know, aren't they great, Uncle? We're about to cut them down. <laughs> Aww, Ira. 
helpful. As much as it could can help, I guess. Virtual hugs all the way around. take you to a new home. Right. Uncle talking about the trees, pretending like he didn't just watch us chop a majestic oak tree down. I'm thankful that during the pandemic I haven't had anyone who's had any serious illnesses or anything like that. Everybody's been pretty, uh, pretty good. Some of my family got hit hard with the COVID, uh, uh, the, or they live in the city, so some of them got hit kind of hard. Um, but they all made it out okay. Uh, but I don't know if my social anxiety can handle at all, like, even thinking about that. Oh, I just realized it went dark because there's a, a solar eclipse. So confused as to what was going on. Clips with shooting stars. Hey, big guy. You need a hug? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> You'll have to let me know what you think of um, Breath Edge. Actually, I'm really proud of of a finishing it and uh, two how it how well it the gameplay came through. Uh, that's always the worst in knitting. I remember when I first started doing uh, the washcloths, I got the worst blisters uh, on my thumbs and. Uh, uh, be just because the yarn, while it's soft, is tough too, until I built up some, uh, calluses. I, I greatly enjoyed the game. It had its problems. I did trim out 
some issues, uh, like I would just randomly get stuck somewhere. Okay, big guy. Alright. Oh. You brought a second sheep. Oh, look at them. They'll be so happy together. Uh, they're acting kind of coldly. That's surprising. Well, they just have to get to know each other. I'm sure they'll be best of friends in no time. As for me, well, it was nice feeling needed. What? You want me to join you on your travels? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I couldn't possibly impose myself on all of you. Besides, I'm sure there's no room for me. For sure the island is a little bare, but I'm sure a little house could fit quite nicely here. A little bungalow with nice vines and potted flowers, maybe? With pale tones and a cozy cottage facade. Oh, and green window shades. <laughs> my, that would be so wonderful. Oh, sorry, I was lost in my own thoughts. No, you go ahead, I'll be just fine here. All right, we gotta make Alice's cottage before she'll come join us. Uh, I know some people lead with their pinkies. I lead with my thumb. So I am changing that. Uh, uh, Alright, uh, Alice needs a cottage. Build. Uh, summer sanctuary. Alright, I need iron. Where do you think there's iron? I guess this this quarry right here. It's gonna be my guess. I uh, I use those big looms uh, like you do, not the round ones, but the oblong ones, to make um, blankets, big comfy blankets. And you are making me. I've been thinking about digging them out to make them, but we're going into summertime, so I don't know. <laughs> Plus the fact of, uh, I already have so many things, so many products on my plate. Do I really, really, really need to uh, pick up another project? But I want to, I really, really want to. Make some tea leaves. Is that what they're called? I don't know what they're called. They're uh, they're just they're long and oblong. Not not very much space in between them. I'll, after stream, I'll try to remember to take a picture. Um, I, well, I say that I also have to find them because I put them. I remember a few years ago I put them in storage. I want to say it's a blue loom, but it might be green, I guess. I don't know. Memory's a little fuzzy. Okay. We found the quarry. Hopefully it has iron here. saying I don't know what kind of loom is it called um, I put them in storage and I don't I haven't looked at it in a few years oh we got mail uh, available now They were made specifically for making, like, shawls and blankets.
Yeah, so, okay, then I would say it'd probably be an S-Loom. It was blue or green. Um, I think, well, the fact is, is I bought them as a pack. It came with the round ones, too. And I liked the round ones. Um, I just found myself more drawn to, uh, the bigger ones. Alright, you got to get it together, Gregory. This is your day. Today, it is all about digging. Any problems you have, you leave at the door. This is a new day. Big breath. Oh, Gary, it's alright, buddy. I know. Hey, we got some amethyst. You can give it to Summer. I really liked it. Uh, I really liked doing them. The only problem was uh, the yarn broke and I, uh, not only did the yarn break, but I couldn't buy replacement yarn either in those colors. Stop giving me slate, I need iron. It's my first day on the job. I have no idea what I'm doing. No one is training me. The place is falling apart. Yeah, that was the worst feeling when I realized I couldn't buy replacement pieces for it. Uh, there just, there wasn't any, or, uh, replacement yarn. Hey, we got our iron yarn. Yeah, you're strongly making me considering wanting to pick the loom back up, but man, I know myself. I just don't have enough time. I would have to give up a hobby in order to do it. books up here. What weirdness is the yes? Guys. I'm done here? I'm done here. I can't interact with whatever that is on the ground. So I'm going to say we're done. Bye guys, have fun. Your job. remember I don't have the power yet but there's a power coming up soon where I can glide Uh, 
Um, I used to do a lot of the uh, loom work. Oh man, it was probably a good solid 10 years ago. I remember I was living in this teeny dinky little trailer park. Uh, I was single and uh, had nothing going on. And uh, I didn't have cable. Oh, there's my exit. I didn't have cable or anything. Uh, it was just me. Um, Wakey, 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 wakey. I pulled an all nighter. You guys can wake up. Uh, we want to go up here because we've got to make iron bars. of this is we have to get this in the marked area and it can't go past that. <gasps> Yay! A yarn? Your baby yarn? <laughs> Nightbot's like, I don't want to make me. Uh, did you find it on Amazon? I'll have to look. I think I still have one of the labels when I packed up the yarn. I think I still have one of the labels of the of the thing that I made. Hey. Okay. I think I think we can make Alice's home yet or home now. Let's see. Build. We can. All right, Alice. You're getting a cute little cottage girlfriend. Yeah, you can. It actually, as the game progresses, it's gonna be become a puzzle in order to fit all the uh, buildings. Like for example, like, oops, like see this one is so awkwardly shaped that it just takes up so much space. So you have to start linking them together to make it fit. And like right here later as the game also progresses, uh, I guess I can put it down here. Um, there's gonna there's wasted space uh, later in the game. You're you're gonna have to figure out how to piece them together. So there's very little waste. All right, let's go get lovely Alice. So that we have her a cottage. Yeah, this game does have quite a few little, like, mini games and puzzlers. I do. It's, uh, I got it built while you were in the shower. There's one right here. I just have to find uh, a sheep that I can take. I can't take the ones, of course, that I gave to Alice. Uh, those are her sheep, but 
Um, but there's, there's other islands that have sheep that I can take. And I think I can have two sheep, and I'll want them for their wool. I know, you still want those pork chops. Well aware. Get Alice. Not yet. Uh, I don't have that island unlocked yet. He uh, he asked for the pork so early in the game, and we won't get access to pork for a while. <laughs> hey, Alice. What? You built a house for me? Oh, you shouldn't have, really. But since it's there. Well, I guess it'd be rude of me not to move in. Thank you so very much, sweetheart. <clears throat> Can I feed you guys? I might be able to, actually, now that I... This is gonna kill me. Come on. Come on. Uh, Alice, if this, if this sheep comes home, it's not the one I stole from you. I, yeah, I swear. He did follow me home. There he is. We help. <laughs> okay. Everyone's gathered, gathering together. Uh, little one. What is this? Oh, a little ceremony. All right. I'll try to do my best. <laughs> oh, this is really pleasant. Soft as a, w a waffle and warm as a pie. Hee. I feel young again. Thank you so much for having me around, young one. Don't you worry about me now. I'll find my way around. Come here, Alice. I give you a hug. Because in a little while, you're going to break my heart. Oh, that was very nice. Thank you. Yes, I know all of you guys want something from me, and I can't particularly help you with that. So. Mm. Mm. Alright. I think she's gonna te me, uh, teach me. Oh, you came! Would you look at that, Stella? This little sheep wanted to come with us. I guess it didn't like its new companion very much after all. Mm. Well, no worry, we'll take good care of you. But first, all this wool, it looks quite uncomfortable, doesn't it? And, oh no, we're on a boat. It's like that story with the flock of sheep that fell off a boat. Oh, we can't have that. Go ahead, Stella, Share the shear the wool right off its back. It's for the best. Uh, I'll go see if he'll follow me, I'm not, I'm not sure if two will fit, or if it's just one. Oh, look at that. We also got a key. It had a key in its fur. All right, we'll go get that. Mm -mm. Body. I can cheer you right here, which I'm gonna do. <laughs> All right, I think we got the key to that little cottage that she was living in. Which must have been up here. Yet we're gonna have access to uh, a tree farm too. I wonder if we can do that yet, or it might be the next one. Real quick. See if there's.
I'll have to remember after the stream, uh, Ira, my love, to take a look at my, uh, where I stored stuff and see if I left, um, if I can find my, uh, copy of the, uh, or my, uh, loom and my blanket that I was working on. No! Shoot! I failed too short! Okay, let's try that again. We got this. There's a secret up there that I just remembered about when I flew off the mountain. It's easy to get up here. <laughs> Grr. Grr. Okay, so we gotta double jump off the edge of the mountain and then not touch the controllers. Okay. <laughs> I refuse. Okay. All right. Let's see if it will follow me. I don't remember if two can fit in there or not. Two can fit in there. Much better. Well, aren't you feeling better? And it's much safer too. And that key, I thought I had lost it. But it was stuck in your thick coat all this time. What a treat. As for you, Stella, I know you'll find a good use for all this extra wool. One of my favorite materials. I choose it exclusively for all my blankets. My husband, of course, always thought they were scratchy. He was such a grump. Anyway, the sheep's wool will grow back very quickly, but only if it is well fed. And this one seems to have quite a large appetite. Mm. I suggest you digitally, diligently feed him. Otherwise, he might get into your garden and destroy your crops. Oh, I imagine building a sheep corral will keep him in place. You should probably do that as soon as you can. Uh, for the good of the sheep and that of your crops. <laughs> Stella, Stella, do you... Or, uh, Alice, do you not... Not see the, the sheep corral? Oh, okay. Yeah, you do need to shoot. Okay. I think, actually. And copper. Needed how much wood? Seemed like a ridiculously number. I needed 32 oak planks. Let's see. Alright, guess I'll get to cutting. I forgot for a minute where the sawmill was.
Okay. Uh, now we gotta go make... I had to sneakily mute my mic out of sneeze. Let's make our second sheep corral so that second sheep doesn't get in my way. Sweet, I put them side by side. Okay. Um, so we need nebula thread. That is coming up, I think. All right. Uh, let's go to sleep real quick. It's Alice who gets us through these worms, I think. Oh. Uh, okay, let's, let's see. Uh, this is Summer's place. Okay, I still need leaks. Give him that. Uh, Alright. Stays with me for a while. <laughs> oh, there she is. <gasps> oh, hello there. Hello. Oh, you're tired, aren't you? Of course, so many children are bound to leave you exhausted. Maybe we can play with them a bit and let you rest? Oh. What do you think, Stella? Sure. Wonderful, we'll have so much fun. I used to play this game with my grandchildren all the time. Just catch them and bring them back to their mommy. Oh, I can. Come on. You gotta go back to mommy. Bug. We are. No, <laughs> no running away. Come here. Are you hungry? 
Some people are getting a bit hungry. Have you thought about the next meal? Uh, you mean you're hungry. Want some tea? I can't have a strong simulant. Those are disorienting. I won't be able to sleep. Okay. Um, shrimp. Alright, she took the shrimp. Ooh, not that one. I move things around and confuse myself. Oh no! Poor kitty! <laughs> Has he forgiven you yet? Alright. Okay, we got the orchard. Uh, I can't make that yet. And do field. Um, what up? What? Oh, you're hungry. Water these. <laughs> oh. Are you fine? You're fine. You're fine. <laughs> fine. <laughs> was he was she meowing or did he just find her? One pork chop. Um, <laughs> buy. Yeah, I did buy it. Uh, let's talk, Alice. I'm shopping for some ingredients. Maybe I'll cook something for you later. I would love that, Alice. <laughs> uh. Okay. Alright. What are you doing? You are ruining this very pleasant day. Stop that bouncing right this instant. You just can't come here and bounce like some kind of overexcited youth. You're stressing me out. You need to calm down. Here's some free advice. You'll never be able to get up there. I've seen people with better legs than you try. Fine. If you really want to, you'll need to do two things. First up, a good attitude. That just applies to life in general. Everything is in the attitude. Then you need to visualize bouncing higher. Or, I don't know. Learn a new skill. I'm sure you'll figure something mm. out. You'll learn how to bounce someday. I just know that you can't get up there without a combination of things. A calm and cool attitude and more leg power. Mm. Now stop it. I'm just a simple person who doesn't like it when people jump on my umbrella. I guess really that's fair. Mm. I can't get up there either until I can bounce. All right, we're kind of done here. Um, hey, squid skewers. I do have to fish though. I'm gonna eventually have to just suck it up and do that. Okay. Um, yes, my uncle. 
I have been looking at my house and it's really bare bones. It's an amateur, as an amateur handyman, this doesn't work at all. Maybe we should improve it. Add a few bells and whistles. I don't know what exactly. Let me have a look. Follow me. Uh, I appreciate that he gives me this quest after I already upgrade him. You've already started with the improvements. Carry on. That's silly, uncle. All right, let's plant a tree. We'll plant a cherry tree. Or an apple tree, excuse me. And we'll plant a cherry tree. I love this orchard with the hanging uh, mason jar lamps. That's so adorable. Oh, by the way, we can make the pork chops now. We should probably make that, huh? Make Uncle happy. Hey. Go. All right, let's get those going. Uh, um, let's go. Uh, we'll get this treasure. Excuse me, Summer. Excuse me. Oh, she wants to chat. You might have noticed that there is a large empty nook in my house. You know what? We should add a wardrobe. Yes. A fancy dresser for your clothes. You don't seem to have anywhere to store your own outfits. This would be a perfect opportunity. What do you think? That's adorable, Ira. side I haven't taken the dogs out for a WALK because uh, it's just too muddy and uh, they are so antsy like they are wanting to go out they're like a bunch of toddlers misbehaving toddlers hey we finally got the leaks okay because I needed those plant those. Yes, we can plant the leeks. Chops that Uncle wanted. Where are you, Uncle? Uncle, where are you? You're a giant frog. How am I missing you? Okay, you're not in your house. Uncle, there you are. Feed. Chops. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm so excited. They look so damn tasty. And they are. Sprout, you're a miracle. You know that. Oh, this is just so good. Ha, huh. now I feel just a bit guilty. And now I'm sorry. And I'm sorry you're running all these culinary errands for me. Look, there was this kid at work, Craig. 
We used to have these long and tight union negotiations. Oh. All-nighters. Everyone would be at a standstill. Everyone was so hungry and every restaurant was closed. Oh. I would send Craig on those on these endless 24-hour grocery store crawls for me. I would ask for these impossible gets. Saffron, sumac, and even uh, anise. It was something like 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh. Our goal was to make the tastiest chops in the world. A meal for everyone. On both sides of the table, oh. to calm heads and to appease stomachs. The first part didn't always work, but everyone was always well fed. I don't know how he did it, but Craig was al would always find everything on my list. Oh. I would joke with him that he would have to break into people's houses to get this stuff. Oh, jeez, maybe he did. I don't know how you do how you did it, Sprout. Oh. You made it taste like home. Here's to you and Craig. Uncle, I have a feeling you're gonna break my heart too. Alright, let's play some music so I can get these leaks going. I think I'm gonna have to be patient for the leaks. is horrible. Right, I think. Right. We'll fish until we Message in a bottle. Help me, I'm lost at sea. Hopefully this bottle reaches your friend. Here's my location. Uh, here's my location on the map, 58, negative 11. 58, negative 11. Mm. Hopefully it works.
58. I have a feeling we can't go to 58. Yeah, I don't think we can go to 58 yet. Before we go there, let's go here. That's where I really want to go. to hit the bail. Someone's sleeping in. I, I really want this leak to grow. already. Okay. Cool. Have to ask and you shall receive. Remember what I was, why I wanted that? <laughs> I think it was something for uh, summer. Yeah, summer wanted it. Summer is done. fabric for Alice. After we go visit this island. doing I don't get it I've been here for days everyone here says that they feel something I don't feel anything what gives I shouldn't have quit my job oh brother what you oh well I've heard of this rock from a friend he said that if you stand next to it for like a week you can become a seagull or something hmm when the others aren't looking, I like to lick the rock. It helps me concentrate. Also, it's a little bit salty. All right, little buddy. That's whatever rocks your boat. Don't mind me coming through. Uncle, the trees are amazing. I might have trimmed them all down. 
really wants me to go visit this, so I guess I'll go visit it. I know what it is, it's a transportation thing. I have something for you. Here, Stella, I bake something for the crew. I'll let you distribute it. I need rice pudding! <gasps> How about a meal, Stella? I'm starving. How about this fresh rice pudding that... Won't you please think of the animals? You <laughs> didn't want the rice pudding. How about you, big guy? You're fine. How about you're fine too? How about you, Uncle? You're good too. All right. All right. I said linen fabric. I gotta make linen. Damn spot. Okay. Uh, nope. Improve. Alright, coming down to here. Alright. Uh, I can't make any of those yet. Those are done. Do anything about that? Nothing yet. Nothing on the yet. Wondrous. You're spoiling me, Stella. What an incredible piece of furniture. It livens the room so much. Yes, much cozier now. And filled to the brim with clothes and accessories, too. You don't know how happy that makes me. Well, what are you waiting for? Jump out of those dirty old clothes. Pick something with some jazz to it. Alright. Sure. Interesting choice. I really need to stop clicking that button. Yeah. Guess I'm doing all kinds of mixed. Um, well, that is certainly a modern choice. Very youthful. But what about something more um, classic? I think there was a, a nice periwinkle outfit. You should try that. All right. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, sweetie, isn't that so much better? Wow, you look so adorable. I could just eat you up. And there's plenty for for you more for you to try on. Don't be shy. Come over anytime. I always love doing these little fashion shows with my granddaughter. Oh, what is it? You found an envelope on the bottom of the drawer? How peculiar. Well, don't make me wait. Open it. What does it say? What is it you say? Pictures and letters? Oh, those are mine. How did they ever end up here? What a mystery. Look, this is my ha husband's handwriting. Oh, it's messy, all right. He never was a delicate man. Uh, but quite handy and so very loving. Oh, and would you look at that? My backyard. See all those trees? Sweet Eugene planted a tree for every one of our children. And then for our grandchildren. We grew apples, cherries, and pears. I remember my granddaughter playing in my mother's apple or uh, apple tree. Such sweet memories. Oh, look at me, rambling again. Go ahead, sweetheart. I won't hold you back any longer. Alice, Alice, my love, you are gonna... You are gonna break my heart. I'm so hungry. I know I've been asking for a lot lately. I've got a big appetite. It goes well with my love of food. But you know what I could go for? A bucket of fried chicken. That would bring me back because the best kind of food comes in buckets. Cooking sounds hard sometimes. In this case, it's pretty easy. 
I haven't given it much thought before now, but Stella, this orchard, it looks almost exactly like the one my husband built. Have you seen all these fine details? Yes, he was quite the woodworker. At least until his hands gave up on him. We planted our first apple tree along with the birth of our first daughter. You should plant a tree for yourself. Of course, it'll take some time before it can bear fruit. But once grown, it makes you feel so proud and accompanies you your whole life. Oh, listen to me rambling again. I'll get out of your things now. Alright, Daff. Thanks, Daff. Oh, not what I wanted. Get down. Welcome to one of my famous bus stops. I found them. They're mine. All mine. My name is Alex. It's a beautiful name. Yes, Alex. It's a beautiful name. The best name. But don't call me Alexander. Blah. It's a garbage name. A garbage name for garbage people. Where was I? Oh, yes. I'm Alex, and I'll be your bus driver. I wasn't always a bus driver. Before, I was an accountant. Numbers were my shame. And taking you places is my game. Choo-choo! No, wait, that's a train. This is a bus stop, and I'm your driver. Want to go somewhere? Uh... Guess? I don't. I really don't. Bye, big guy. Okay, let's get away from him, because his music makes me crazy. Um... we can. Let's go to this one. Check. I think she's done. He still missing some. Aluminum. Last, I think.
Remember right, glass is finicky. Fabric. I can do wool fabric. I'll make wool fabric. Interesting side note. Have you noticed Stella doesn't eat? Now gives uh, Alice photos for her lovely home. Nope. Oh. All right. Next is aluminum ingot, which we don't know. Uh, try some fishing. Terrible idea. Try that again. I don't hate it. I just rather not fish. Can I not fish? Is that possible? I made a questionable meal. I'm gonna probably feed that to Uncle. Summer's gonna come sing to the plants. I wish she would water them too. That would be really kind of her.
are here. So let's. Um, I saw a location over here. That treasure. wake everyone up. <laughs> Morning, lovely Alice. How's it going, girlfriend? Questionable meal for me. Ooh. This is hot garbage. Ew. Oh. <laughs> Alright. He said no. <laughs> Which, fair enough. Okay. What? Well, why are you sad, my lovely lady? No, I really lo love desserts of all kinds. Thanks a lot, Stella. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, nope. That is not where I wanted at all. Um. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm. You are very welcome. Um. Let's. Is not what I meant to do. Oh no! I just wasted some lettuce, guys. What a treat! Amethysts are healing stones, you know. Ailments, emotional issues, nightmares, and other afflictions can be cured with the power of amethyst. They're a great to balance chakras as well. Specifically, the crown chakra. Let's give her... Uh, the, the citrine. Oh, is that a piece of citrine? Did you know that citrine promoted motivation and activated creativity? I have also heard that encourages self-expression and enhances concentration. A true mind, revitalizer, and emotions balancing stone. Alright, I'll be right back, uh, Summer. I'm not done. There's a quest down here, though. Oh, you're tired, aren't you? Okay, let's, we're gonna skip past this. Sure, we'll catch your children for her. Go on. Come back. Come back. Here you go, Mama. Alright. Mama, I wasn't done. 
Nope. Dang it. Still wasn't done. Stella, my stomach is rumbling. Would you have anything for me to nibble on? Um. Can't have stimulus. Okay. Uh, let's give her the opal. Uh, oh, an opal! A burning stone of passion and love. The stone of seduction, which resonates with burning desires and re releases inhibition, but stabilizes emotions as well. In other contexts, opal also brings about loyalty and faithfulness. Stella! And with that last gem, my basic medicine cabinet is complete. And since my meditation room is already furnished with a nice little altar, you can come by and admire it at any time. In any case, I am truly grateful for all of your help. You were all you were always, after all, a radiating presence. A beacon of light. Stella, I hadn't planned on it, but I think I have something more important to teach you. But our next class, well, we'll have to leave the boat for it. I have heard of a nice spot on Mount Toramoya on a cliff overlooking the horizon. I think it would make for a nice classroom. I am ready when you are, just set sail. Okay, we'll go in a minute. After we uh, investigate this place. Because that's a must. <laughs> Another questionable meal. All right, that's for realsies, lettuce and mushrooms. There we go. Let's see what happens. It may be another questionable meal, but I appreciate the humor of the uh, the questionable be meal being blurred out, like it's something that has to be censored. Chatty Kathy, that's all right. impeccable timing. I am in dire need of assistance. I can tell from your friendly and familiar face that you are undoubtedly the helpful type. Listen, I am looking to complete this set of five traditional wood prints. They date from the Usura period and as, and as such are invaluable. I have found four of them, but alas, the last one eludes me. I am certain it is in this very village. Furthermore, I am absolutely positive that it is recently in the possession of the local shopkeeper, Theodore. But he refuses to even acknowledge its existence. What an irksome little man. Raccoon. Tanuki. Whatever he is. But with your help, yes, with that sweet little smile of yours and generally non-threatening attitude, well, I'm sure you can schmooze your way into acquiring that last precious piece. That would be the last missing piece of this slippery puzzle. Well, go ahead, Skipper. I can't wait. Oh, a visitor! <laughs> Welcome to the world-renowned Firagoway Tours. The tour will begin shortly. It takes about five minutes and covers the rich history of this city. After, you'll see so many anecdotes about this place. You'll be the life of the party if you ever attend one. Ready? Yeah, go for it. Perfect. Let's start right away. To begin, a powerful symbol erected to keep evil spirits away and bless this island for future generations. You can sometimes see islanders stop by this tree in the middle of their journey home. Maybe to remind themselves of a lost brother, their sick child, or past lovers. Legend does say that they have heard it talk sometimes. 
another piece of this island's rich culture. I personally have never experienced loss. Some say I always think of my personal problems, never thinking of others. Well, no matter, as long as I can carry on doing these tours. Since this is a vibrant city, we have a raccoon ink location. Considered it considered to be oh my gosh, considered by most to be the finest source of materials and wares. It is also coincidental, the only merchant business in town. Founded by Theodore Raccoon, these shops are a stable of thriving economy. A fun little fact, anyone who joins Raccoon Inc. must legally change their name to Theodore. I suppose it's a way to uh, honor their founder. Mm -hmm truly a sign of devotion i myself do not shop at this particular establishment i make my own clothes and furniture mm. this isn't particularly noteworthy but it is a small tidbit in your tour guide life uh bye pork and now i'm broke i'm broke here, this shrine was built using only the finest metals. From the ashes of the past guardian tower, these shrines tell the story of our past. And that story is... Give me a second. I'm not sure, actually. Which is why it's so important. In my forgetfulness, I remember the purpose of the shrine. The moral being, of course, always remember your heritage. A powerful thought. Let's move on. Um... glide now all right this concludes our tour for go away to your tours is grateful for your participation thank you for your ears and your patience mm. thank you again a gra gratuity is expected if you enjoyed the tour this is 50 glem sound fair mm. amazing i knew you were an educational spirit thank you for believing in my teaching aptitude I never want to go back home. Being here is sublime. If you want to stay at my place, you're more than welcome. Here's my key. If the door stays jammed, you just have to give it a good tug. It always gets stuck. I want to enjoy this view forever. Customer, is our catalog not to your satisfaction? Are you interested in some specialized items? Oh, a wood print, you say? Yes, yes, I know it. It sat in my special stock for an eternity, and then suddenly, everyone was looking for it. At first, it was this pandemic person, very rude. And worse, they were haggling on everything. I didn't even tell them of the print, gave them some junk instead. And then later, this giant walrus lady came in and demanded that I sell it to her. The thought crossed my mind to start a bidding war, but she offered some serious coin for it. That lady, let me tell you, she was loaded. Anyway, that's all I know about it. I can't help you with the print, but feel free to browse my wares. Very boring. Why 
am I stuck on anything? Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, you're back. Did you manage to get the missing print? No, it was already sold. Uh -huh. But how? Wait, is there a competing art collector roaming about? A walrus lady, you say? Uh -huh. Of course. Of course it was her. Oh, that horrid woman. That dim-witted, egotistic, patronizing charlatan. She calls herself the collector, if you can believe uh -huh. it. She doesn't even collect anything. Oh, I'm sure she bought the print only to spite me. I should have never told her about my collection. That ugly ass sack face. Uh -huh. Well, I'm not one to wave away competition. The ugly witch is in hiding. In hiding from you. Uh -huh. I don't specifically know where, but the news of a new spirit fur made her skitter away like a puny cockroach. How fitting. Yes, yes, you're the spirit uh -huh. fair. Tell me something I don't know. She should have known better than to tell me the location of her hideout, though. She's hiding in these coordinates. Negative 150, 150. Um. Pay her a visit, would you? And when you see her, show her this figurine. She'll know. Believe me, she'll know. Uh -huh. This? Oh, do not worry. It's just some junk Theodore gave me. Alright, let's go up here and get our... Yummy treasure. Alright. Uh, nope. Yup. Yup. Okay. How's it going, Faith? Anything crazy happen? Daylight savings time has messed up my sleep schedule. Um, I've, uh, <laughs> I'm keeping some weird hours. Oh, wait, I have mail. A letter from Albert. What does Albert have to say? Uh, dear valued customer, we are running a special promotion include, enclosed in a new type of building, all part of our new fun, funticular series, an air draft device. We hope you enjoy your time soaring through the air. Hey, mushroom salad. Rice and pork chops. Let's try that. See what happens. The sheep want shearing. Oh. him turnips because we got tons of turnips all right can't go anywhere let's just go to sleep
can't go there yet. I can't go to the 150 because we can't break through the ice barrier yet. Can't go this way because we can't break through that yet. Gosh, dang it. Alright. Ports. Ports. I guess let's go to Olga. I don't remember what Olga has to say. Stella, it grew so quickly. I'm sure the love you gave it helped tremendously. The laws of this world would allow it. Well, I'm glad the tree is fully grown now. I know you'll be able to build some great memories here. Oh. Stella, I've been doing some thinking. All my life, I've had to take care of others. Cooking, cleaning, taking care of the children. Oh. They're a blessing, really, but I've never had any time for excitement, adventure, oh. I thought, if it's not too much of a hassle, of course, and since we're traveling all over all the time, well, maybe you could come on a little trip with me? Just you and me. It'll be fun, I promise. How about that little hamlet, Nordweller, was it? From what I've heard, it sounds just like my Swedish romance novels. Oh, how I can devour those. What, you're also a fan? I knew you were a woman of culture. Anyway, if we're ever around these parts, I think we would have loads of fun. Alice, 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 Alice. And the name of that quest for Alice is down the rabbit hole. All right. Hard. Uh, what I meant to do? I meant to come here. I don't think. Yeah, I can't. I don't think I can go there yet. I think I have to uh, be able to break through the, I think it's ice. Right. Nope, I absolutely did not want to go in there. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't happen to have a little something on you to eat. Um, have the raspberry. Okay. Um, let's plant some linen. And we'll plant some tea. Because there's never enough tea. yet. Okay, I'm just triple checking. The windmill. We can't do the windmill yet. We don't have marble or aluminum. Alright, so we're gonna go visit the docks and see if we can unlock... Hi, Bo! I'm not terribly shy, no. I mean, I kind of am, but... Alright, I'll try to brace myself. 
Vegas is bracing the the two that are with me right now watching. They may be shy. Okay. <laughs> He might have wandered away already. I think if it's raining, it should automatically uh, water the plants. Right, guys? Right? Let's go see Summer's place real quick. Rose, when I was healed, I didn't want to go back to my old life, to the ways of poison and hatred. Rose had reminded me of my youthful love. Unintentionally, she had unveiled my eyes. I sold everything I owned, took every dirty penny I had ever earned, and I bought a plot of remote land and started anew. I listened to the hidden songs of nature. When you listen, Stella, really listen. The plants tell you all sorts of things. What they like, what they need, and who they love. Some called it biodynamic farming. I call it the listening to the universal chant. I carved this little nest in the middle of the woods, and when I finally and when it finally responded, when the flowers and the trees and the birds started flourishing, stronger than than they ever could with the touch of poison, on the day of the solstice, when the hill was emerald green, well, that's when I asked her to marry me. Ah, uh, Sama, make a me. Making me emotional. Check on her real quick. Oh, my stomach is turning. Would you have anything to eat? A lemon berry? All right, she took the berry. Sweet. He's fine, but mm. she's getting a hug. Mm. <laughs> I adore all of their hug animations. Like, all of them are adorable. Uh, Astrid, okay. Alice? Alice? Alice, go, oh, Alice. I have something oh. for you. Here, Stella, I baked something for the crew. <laughs> she made us an apple pie. What? Oh, <laughs> Stella gets oh. on her knees. Oh, that was very nice. Thank you. Actually, not a problem. go down and see what the big guy wants for uh, the next rocker thingy. Oh, 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 wait a second. I don't have a joke for the loom yet. I might have one soon. It's coming. I can feel it looming over me. Oh, dude, your jokes. Iron ingot and linen fabric. Okay, we can go do that. Uh, be right back, big dude. Uh, oh, but I also want to talk to him. Hi! Can I sell you some shit? It's all highly valuable. 
Thanks. I think that's it. All right. Bye. Wait, did your head just open up? One linen, but for sake of time, we'll make extras. Of course, there's big butts in my way. Done. Of course, these need watering. You have to make a lot of iron ingots. taking so long. <laughs> Those got them tricks. So then once we get the, I think this will unlock the ability for us to go to new islands. So that's exciting. I'm probably going to be on for about 20 more minutes and then I'll call it a night. So you guys know. Oh, I actually might have lied. I just heard I heard a tiny puppy shake her collar. We all know what that means. Nope, 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 nope. We're gonna skip past that. Yeah, you just told me that joke. Thank you, though. Uh, Alright. We now have the icebreaker. Okay, let's... Can we go to sleep yet? I can't remember. Yes, sleep until morning. Up on her face on my blanket. On we go. Let's wake everybody up. Uh, water the stuff. Uh, 
Good morning, Alice. I know I didn't stop to chat with you, but... Alice keep picking the flower or picking the apples. She uh, looks like she's in that. Oh my goodness! Hello! Thank you for the raid. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hypo, thank you. I appreciate it. Bella appreciates it too. She's over on the bed, uh, thanking you. <laughs> Hello, welcome everyone to my humble stream. Yes. Bella, we just got raided. Yes, by all these people. Thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. Hello, welcome everyone. Oh no, a week has just followed me. Good night, Faith, good night. Sleep well, hopefully you warm up. the music getting all scary? Oh! Hello, big guy. Um... You want something from me? Okay. Talk. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't happen to have a little something to eat on you, would you? all you ask for. Have a cherry. Mm -hmm. well, apparently he doesn't want to talk to me. Look at Summer up there playing, playing some music. Um, let's go here to take a shortcut. What did we make? Uh, more porch poached fruit. Okay. Deal with that. Little one! Oh. Oh. Would you happen to have something to eat? Uh... Oh. Apple pie. Oh my! <laughs> you must know I really love desserts of all kinds. Thanks a lot, Stella. Mm. Let's go take Alice on her little trip that she wanted to go. Go up here. Alright, 
We're gonna go for about another five more minutes and then I'm actually gonna head out. Um, Bella's got a potty. I don't know if you can hear her. See if I can get her to talk. Hi, Bella. What do you want? I heard a rumor you want something. I'm gonna come stand up here because I love watching the uh, boat break through the ice. Boys, you are too cute. Yes, you are. about a meal, Stella? I'm starving. You are starving, actually. Um, I can't remember. Did I just... Salads are just wonderful. Refreshing, healthy, simple, and tasty. I love them very much. Thank you. You're welcome. We are almost there. on her trip that she wants to go on. How oh, invigorating. Oh, Stella, thank you so much for bringing me here. Oh, smell the crisp winter air and these colors. Why, I feel like a young girl again. Oh, let's go already. I can't wait to see all the sights. Hi, big guy. You want anything? Bye. <laughs> and... We can get salad, sunflower, and cabbage. Okay. Oop, sorry, 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 Alice. Got distracted. Look at that! Is that an ancient wooden elevator cage? What a wonderful construction. I didn't think I ever see one with my own eyes. Remember? It's by climbing one of these that Anser managed to get away from Harold's gang. A treacherous and icy cage that claimed many a young daredevil's life. But of course, Ansgar managed to escape with the Countess's sapphires with ease and grace. Yes, he was quite the cat burglar. Oh, look at me, I'm swooning. Just thinking about it. As for us, I think we should just climb the ladder. Watch out for ice patches. White leaves? Oh, and the statue here with the bushes over white. Just as I pictured it, how uncanny. Doesn't it remind you of the shrine where Ansgar offered the sapphires to Agnita? Hmm. I would have stolen a hundred gemstones and fought a thousand ruffians for the opportunity to gaze upon your beauty, but for a second. Oh, how romantic. And then she confessed her love. And then they... Well, you know what happened next. Although in my mind, it wasn't so cold outside. Well, Ansgar sure was hot-blooded. I know that's how he makes me feel. Uh... 
this place. Oh, and this dark, windy spot. Just like the scaffoldings where Ansgar and Harold dueled. Oh, I can see the scene so clearly. The clicking of the swords, the distant barking of dogs and whistling of the policemen. Even the smoke reminds me of this train station below. And then, glinting in the shadows, a small needle-like life. Just as Ansgar has adeptly disarmed his opponent, the treacherous Agnita emerges and stabs Ansgar in the back. Mm -hmm. Of course, how could Ansgar know that she was the half-niece of the cruel Harold? The bleeding Ansgar advances haphazardly to the edge of the scaffolding. And as he reaches the edge, he glances back and finds that he is cornered by his opponents. With nowhere to go, they know it is but a matter of time mm. before they can deliver him to Duke Frederick, Ansgar's long, long estranged twin brother and usurper of the family title. Mm. But Ansgar, elegant to his last breath, raises a hand in farewell, smiles softly, and just as he is en engulfed by the smoke from the locomotive below, Alice, you precious little thing. Oh, did you fall, Alice? Oh. Ouch! Oh, what? Oh, Stella, no, I'm all right, thank you. I'm good, I'm good. Just, I'm a little tired. Let's go back home, okay? Just, let's go. Oh. It's so far. Oh, wait up. I'm I'm uh, I'm tired. Would you would you mind helping an old lady walk back to the tender? Can't tell if she's saying good day, sir, to the sheep. Stella, I wanted to have a word with you. We had some fun together with the trip and all, but I can't keep following you around like that. It's just too tiring. And besides, it's not befitting of an old lady like me. Just... Has anybody told you how smothering you can be? Please, leave me some space now, will you? And at this point is when we notice Alice's behavior change. And break my heart. <laughs> <laughs> 